everyone. Uh, this is a video about how uh, to load data on ArcGIS Online. Uh, there'll eventually be a compendium video to this as well that talks through uh, a couple of other mechanisms you can use uh, to get your information um, onto the web, but this is definitely uh, by far the best, most flexible, and the one that optimizes your data um, most appropriately for ArcGIS Online. Um, so first thing that you'd want to do is you want to come up here and make sure that you're connected to ArcGIS Online. It might not even say you're signed in, but you definitely want it to say connected. If not, you need to just double click on it and it'll connect you. Uh, then you'd want to come over here and go to uh, sign in. Right now I'm already signed in, so I'll sign out just to show. But you want to come down here and hit sign in, and this is what's going to create the link between ArcGIS Online and your desktop. Uh, you'll type in whatever username you use for ArcGIS Online. Um, some of you actually have a dedicated one uh, who are going to use it the most. The rest of you would just use the uh, primary company one. So you sign in. You know you're signed in because these become drop-down menus and you can actually interact with all of your data that's online and you get uh, to be able to use our kind of customized services that I'll walk through in another video. Um, you know, so once you've done it, uh, you want to kind of prepare your data here. A uh, couple of tips to keep in mind, just make sure there's no rasters or base map layers that are showing. And also keep in mind that when you upload any layer that is showing, not that's turned on, but that is showing is going to upload as part of a feature service, ArcGIS Online. So it's best when you're doing this to just kind of keep it simple and keep it small with whatever piece of data you want. In this instance, it's going to be uh, parcels. Just example, uh, parcels that are owned by our member anchor institutions in the medical district. Uh, and you know with some subsequent information about those parcels. Um, so if you come up to file again uh, you go to share as and uh, what we're going to be wanting to do is share it as a service. Um, so we want to publish the service uh, if we've already done it and we wanted to overwrite or update it we would do one of these but we're trying to publish our layers uh, to become a feature service online. If this doesn't come up automatically you'll just want to pick uh, the sign in be whatever your name is and then you'll give it a name you know mine will be uh, example for video that's gonna bring up uh, my parameters page right here um, you can just leave this as it is uh, primary thing you want to do here exactly if tile mappings on make sure feature access is on um, you can turn all of these on this is um, you know only if we're ever going to be able to access it um, you know through uh, kind of like coding and not necessarily directly but it's good to have them on and then item description just need to fill in the following informations um, this is data I am using to demonstrate feature services I can say feature services Memphis whatever you want I go into a bit longer description I'm gonna be a little lazy here and just kind of copy what I said above And then if there are any constraints, um, you know, against how you have to use the data or not, or any notes you need to make about credits, you would put them here. And then you go to sharing, um, you know, uh, if you want everybody in the group to be able to see it. And if there's any specific groups that should go, you know, for example, sometimes what we load our data for is to collect stuff with ArcGIS Collector, which will be another video. And then you'd want it to be in the Collector Maps group. Um, you know, there's another group, Display Maps. These are just if we're going to make stuff for other people to see online. Uh, you know, this was something we were able to create for a client. So if you wanted to go in that group, it would go there. This relates to our business analyst online. And this relates to web scenes. So, you know, this one's not necessarily going any group. So I'm just going to make you three advisors. Um, you go to Publish. Um, and then it starts creating. If there's any issues, they'll be down here. Um, you know, I'm not going to pull away now, but these seem to be relatively small. It might just be that there's no service defi or um, spatial reference set. But if it can't do it, you'll see error, and it'll tell you what you have to fix to be able to load this. So I'm going to end this video right here because this sometimes takes a bit, and then I'll pick it back up um, when it's already loaded. Okay, so once it's complete, uh, you'll see something like this. Um, might have an error. Uh, my number one advice whenever you're working with ArcGIS Desktop is just do the same thing again. I know it's frustrating, but sometimes Arca uh, just times out for a minute. If you're loading a really big file or if you have a poor internet connection, this will take a long time. Um, you know, just try to appreciate what's happening here. You're taking something and you're loading a large data set onto the web. You know, so just just be apprised that's what's happening. 
hit OK, you'll be done. And uh, you know, for now, we are we are done with um, ArcGIS Desktop. So we'll, we'll actually go to ArcGIS Online now. Uh, remember, it's ArcGIS.com is the best way to get in there. And you can go to sign in. You'll sign in with whatever your account is. Again, if you're one of the people that is assigned an individual one because you use this or our web-based resources a lot, use that. Otherwise, just use the, um, the general login. All right, we'll go online. You'll want to go to your content because uh, that's where this will be. Uh, I'd have to find it. Can't remember exactly what I called this. I think I may have called it trial. Uh, what did I call this? Da, 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 da. Probably could do this much easier. Select the modified and go to the first page. And there we have an example for video. It's essentially you have two things, a service definition. Uh, we're not really going to go into that yet. That'll be more for another video. Um, but really what you want to interact with is here. Um, anytime you see this kind of yellow mark with a little red in the middle, that's a layer. So that's essentially the, uh, it's like interacting with your data. And that's the window through which you're going to be able to actually view it and create all of the maps that we create, whether you're doing it to collect data um, you know, create a story map for somebody or create a more of a customized app or database. Uh, this is the data that you need. Uh, so eventually we're going to do this one, right? It's always best to add it to a map with full editing control, um, unless you don't want it to be edited, unless this is just going up there to be, you're not going to add any data to it. Then you can just add it to a map and turn on editing layer. Um, but just to view item details, so we can understand what we're looking at a little bit more. Right, it tells me, uh, you know, the information that I talked about when I entered it, what layers there are here. You know, I can open it. Uh, I can re-export it. And this will become important a little bit later when you, let's say we took this data online and then we messed around with it. You know, we had um, a couple of uh, staff members went out and collected parcel information. Then we could, you know, it would upload online and we could export it back to a shapefile and use it on our computer or use it as a CSV or anything else. Uh, kind of a neat thing here, uh, this will be refreshed again when we do the collector video, but this is always a good thing to do. You want to enable your attachments um, because what that allows you to do is actually take pictures or videos that are associated at a geotagged level um, and then later download um, you know, those, those informations or display them in kind of a pop-up window. Um, you can leave comments on this. You know, this gives you all the rest of your information about who can use it, who owns it, so on and so forth. Uh, this will give you a little bit more about the data and the fields that you're using. Visualization, just a quicker way when it works to be able to actually see what this is going to look like when you have it in the map. And notice, right, that whatever I had the symbology of in um, ArcGIS is the symbology that it tries to take when it comes in here. So just keep that in mind. All right, so that's that. You know, I can go back to content or I could uh, do it from here, but I'll just do it in content. And then ultimately, if I wanted to use this data, right, what I could do is I could go right here and I would say, add the layer to a new map with full editing controls. It would come in here. All right, there's the data that I've brought in. I can see it as a legend or as a content. Uh, you can access, there's another video online that actually shows you how you can uh, play around with this, symbolize it, um, filter it, create pop-up windows, all that good stuff. But after you've loaded it, the best thing you want to do is actually just save it, you know, and we'll save this as map, um, you know, video example, or sorry, map um, uploading data example. You know, I'll just say feature services is my tag. Uh, the ultimate result of loading data to ArcGIS online and I want to save it in that folder. I'd save the map and uh, then if I go back to uh, my content, now that's available right there and I can actually go right to the map, right? So the data, the layer exists here. I can play with it and mess with it anywhere I want. I can add it to new maps, um, but that's the cleanest and the neatest way to be able to get data from desktop to ArcGIS Online.